Okay, hopefully you can see this. I'm in a rush. I'm going to work, but um, I'm flat ironing my hair today when I get home. So I didn't want to uh, buck my hair too much, manipulate it too much. And for the last three days, I've had two flat twists going down here and just pulled into a puff or a ponytail or whatever. And so today, I did the same thing. I just kind of cocked the ponytail to the side just a bit um, and rubbed some echo around the perimeter of the puff just a little bit, um, and then I'm going to wet the puff, because I'm going to wash my hair when I get home, so, should I just spray the camera, sorry, anyway, um, wet my puff with my water and glycerin and mix, and take just a little bit of echo in my fingers, and rub it on the puff just to, you know, to find these curls just a little bit without you know, having to put too much product on my hair and without having to take too much time. Alright, look at the mirror. Yeah. And just whack it around a little bit. It's gonna be a little white. But that'll dry no problem. Just take a little bit more for these things that hang down and twirl them. the two flat twists down. I'm just going to pull out this little piece for a bang. I'm going to take this, what's left of the twist, gather the ends together, kind of twist and poke it underneath the puff. from the base to make sure there aren't any sh shorter ends that'll flop down later on. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this side, except I'm not going to leave any pieces out on this side. Twist the pieces together and tuck it under. Bobbing it down. This is a total accident, and I really think it's super cute. I wish I had time to do my whole puff like these little twirled pieces, because they're super cute. But like I said, um, this is an accident, and just trying to figure out what to do my hair today while I'm going to work, because I'm washing it and flat ironing it when I get home. So there's a Christmas party tonight. Yeah, so that's it, and I'll take some pictures, and I always forget to add the pictures to the video before I upload them. Hopefully this time I remember. And also, um, um, hopefully I remember if somebody maybe could remind me, um, that when I do the flat ironing video when I get home to remember to put, um, my old video up of the last time I flat ironed. The last time I flat ironed <coughs> was in August, um, for a trip. And, um, I want to kind of compare the two because this is September, October, you know, almost four months later, um, I'm, you know, firing it again. And I don't plan to make it a habit or anything like that. I think probably max three times a year, max, um, because it does a lot of work. Um, and, you know, it poofs right back up. Like that day I firing, like, the same day. <laughs> Because I was in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, and it was so hot. I, I don't know why I decided to walk somewhere that day. And it just... So hopefully that will happen this time. I have a new technique. Um, I was actually thinking about trying with the grease. I saw a girl on YouTube that used, like, just a tad bit of grease on each strand. And the original product was that it made it look a little weighed down. Like it wasn't as bouncy. 
but it doesn't revert. Like, she can wear her hair for two weeks without it reverting at all, without having it touched up. So that's something to think about, you know, a little less bounce, but it's staying straight, you know, for a couple weeks. I don't know, I'll think about it, and I'll let you guys know.